Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, we will talk about private sharing. Now, private sharing is a part of QuickShare. And we talked about the update to QuickShare yesterday, and this is where that question came about, which was, what is private sharing? So that's what today's video is about. Now, if you missed yesterday's video, this is a brand new updated version of QuickShare. If you already had this version here where it had two tabs, you had the receive and you had the send, there was other updates. It was related applications and services that just helps with the connectivity and, and uh, the usability of QuickShare. So there is an update to QuickShare if you already had this version, but if you had the older version of QuickShare, this is now what you have. It just makes it very simple. You open up QuickShare, this is your receive tab. Open it up if you would like to receive something from somebody. And if you like to send something, you have your selecting files just right here. And it makes it super simple and easy because it's just in the screen. Now you can see that this is just regular quick share. This one is not the private share as of right now. So I believe how this question popped up was I went inside of the settings and I talked about link sharing. So link sharing allows you to share all of your content via a link. So it gets uploaded to Samsung Cloud and you can send up to 10 gigs per day. So if somebody is not next to you or they don't have a Samsung phone or they're in a different household or a different state, you're able to just create a link of everything you would like to share and then send them that link and then they're able to receive it all. Maybe they saw right here where it says private sharing and they would like to know exactly what private sharing is. Or I was in this send screen and on the top right hand side, maybe they saw the option for private sharing. So let's take a look at exactly what private sharing is. I took a screenshot of it the moment I tapped it the first time. I don't think that this will pop up again for me, but private sharing, you have your data protection. Files you share are encrypted, so only the recipient can open them. It is time limited sharing. Now automatically, when it comes down to link sharing, they are set up for two days and 14 hours or three days and 14 hours or something like that. This is where you're able to control how long the recipients can access the files you send and cancel their access at any time. So you can set this up for maybe like one hour or you can set it up to where they can view it for only one day. Also, there is a resharing protection. So it's gonna prevent the recipient from taking screenshots or sharing the file with other people. That is what private sharing is. So let's just go through and let me just send one over and let me show you what happens because it's kind of funny. It, it, it adds a encrypted number. So it's not using your phone number. It's using some other randomized number for it. So if we open up quick sharing and then on the top right hand side, what I want to do, actually, let's go to the send screen. I'm going to find the file that I want to send and let's just do, you know, this wallpaper and then this image that we just got done taking a look at. Now, as of right now, this is public. This is just a regular, you know, quick share. If you go right up to the very top and then you turn on the private share, now I can send it on over. Now, how you're able to turn this on if you haven't turned it on yet is just go inside of the quick share settings, scroll down to private share, and then this is where you turn it on. If I was to go over to this phone over here, I'll show you what this one looks like as well. On the top right hand side, again, I'm going to go right inside of settings. And this is where you go to private sharing history or private share. Basically, you just turn this thing on and it's going to give you like a randomized number. And this way it's not affiliated with this phone number itself. So now that you turned on your quick share, you, you went over to private sharing. I'm going to select the Galaxy S24 Ultra and it's going to go over here. And you can see the preview doesn't even show what was sent over. If it was a regular, you know, quick share, it would show the images that was just sent over. So if I was to open this one up, you can see that I have these images that I've already shared, you know, just by doing this with practice, taking a look at it. Uh, then they actually put on kind of like a little cover. They put little text on top of it. Now, again, this one is only valid for one hour and that's only because that is what I set it to. I believe normally it's just like one day. So it puts on a little number in there. So it just kind of dictates, you know, who this now belongs to. Now, if I was trying to go through and take a screenshot of this, um, it says that the app doesn't allow screenshots. And that's because I did it as the private share. So that means now that I have sent this one right on over to this phone, I know for a fact that now that I sent it over, they just can't take a screenshot of what I have sent them. Now, when you're inside of your private share, so you can turn this on, you can turn it off. When you go on into your private share, this is your expiration. So this is where you put it in for like a day or six days, however many hours you want. If you want to, you can even have it set up to where uh, it's like only a minute. <laughs> so you can go all the way down to a minute. You can go all the way up to six days. This will basically get you to your seven days. 
uh, if you need it to you know be its longest so yeah you could do like one day you could do one hour whatever you would like so here is your expiration so this is now for one day one hour and then if i wanted to send it on off then you already saw everything so we did this thing in real time already so that is what private sharing is now for me personally i guess i don't really know exactly the purpose for it I mean, I'm not really in the world of needing to send something privately where it's encrypted and then they can't take screenshots or whatever. So there is the option if you would like, or even just play with it. You know, uh, that's exactly what I did here. I just did it just to kind of play with it. So this is where, if you would like to, when you do your quick share, you can, if you would like, turn on your private sharing. And then this way you have all of those things that we just mentioned from before, which is data protection, time limited sharing, and then resharing protection, which means that they cannot take screenshots. So that is everything I wanted to show off in today's video. That is private sharing here on the Galaxy S25 and the S24. Hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.